What about the Biden presidency? How will it be different than the Obama presidency? You know, I looked into this recently, Adam, because Obama is hiring a lot. Uh, excuse me, I, I, I'm mixing them up myself. Biden is hiring a lot of old Obama hands. And he, he even chose a, an agriculture secretary nominee who was the same guy that had the same job in the Obama administration, Tom Vilsack. So I went through this. And the short version here is I think Biden will actually be different from Obama on five issues. I think he'll be different on climate, health care, trade with China, student debt and immigration. And then I think on four others, I think it's going to be very similar to Obama. And I think he's probably not actually going to get that much done. And I think that's taxes infrastructure, trying to raise the minimum wage, and this effort to get more stuff made in America. I think the really interesting thing to watch in the Biden administration is going to be what does he do on climate, because there's a lot he can do without Congress passing laws. And the country has just moved uh, to a different place on um, climate and global warming than it was when Obama left office in 2017. So watch for a lot of action there. Quick wrap up here, but are you noticing, maybe I'm mistaken, that I'm hearing lots of people on the left and progressive scream, complain about Biden this, Biden that, not doing what. And Joe Biden's just like doing what Joe Biden, who won this election, intends to do. Y'all just wait. Absolutely right. Um, Biden said, uh, look, I'm a centrist. I'm not Bernie Sanders. I'm not Elizabeth Warren. And lo and behold, uh, he's appointing people to his administration with business experience, even though progressives don't want that. He's got a couple nominees who have sat on corporate boards at Facebook and Raytheon. So Biden is, he seems unperturbed by all this protest on the left, but that's what, that's how he ran in the primaries. That's how he ran in the general. And that's how he apparently is going to govern. Rick Newman, thank you very much.